Well, I want to do a video on uh, addictions, my smoking addiction. Um, it's been guiding me towards truth more than you can ever imagine. If you're dealing with any kind of addiction, trust. If you want to find truth, look at your addiction, try to understand it. Um, it's trying to tell you something. Um, wanted to do a video outside what needed a camera don't really have one that I trust to do interviews but this one I think will do for a little bit of time but one other thing I wanted to talk about today is polar shifts and what's going on and um, one of the, my the people that I subscribe to is saying that they're getting ringing in their ears and headaches and stuff like that and I've experienced the same thing and um, lots to say about that but first I wanted to introduce the area that I live in this is Kelowna this is a beautiful beach I can't really see what it is I'm doing because of the screen here I can't really see too good the sun's uh, blocking it but this is a, a massive, massive lake. There's a massive bridge over there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. But this is an insanely rich area. That very, very filthy, filthy rich area where people own orchards. And then they get, they import people from Quebec to do all the labor for next to nothing. It, it, it's very much a, a culture here that's gotten rich off slavery, slavery of their own people. Now, we are magnetic beings. Uh, the planet has a magnetic field. It operates on magnetics. It revolves around uh, the sun magnetically. If we want it to understand perpetual motion, just understand magnetics and, and you'll sort of get the drift of what's going on. But inside each one of us, we are magnetic beings that you attract and re push away experiences. This lake that I'm on, um, there was a guy that I would trust. Um, he could predict what's about to happen, and he's always been right, bang on every friggin' time. And he says there's going to be a major earthquake in this area, although it's never had one before. But this lake, which is a lake, looks more like a river because, and it flows for hundreds of miles. I don't know exactly how many, but. Um, I can travel hours and hours and hours and still be along the same river. It goes all the way down to the States um, and goes up north quite a long ways. So, and, and one of the popular businesses is renting a houseboat. You can rent a houseboat and never be in the same place ever you know, for a week or two weeks, for however long you want to rent that houseboat, probably for a month. You can just travel along here in a houseboat and never, always just be traveling around. And it looks like a river. But the river aspect of this is there's got to be a fault line right underneath here. Um, and the vision that this guy's seen is as soon as that bridge, they were tearing down the old bridge and bringing a new one. He said as soon as that was built and there was a new apartment building that was built, he says expect the earthquake to happen. So, and then I move into this area and wonder why. And two of my kids live here and my ex-husband just moved here too, who's been very, very abusive, but seems to be okay with him. Um, so one of the things is right now we're not really understanding our own energy, our own magnetics, and we're about to have a pole shift within ourselves. 
Um, we're not really seeing the connection we have to our outer world. What's inside you, your skin, I mean, your DNA is inside of you, but your DNA makes your skin color, it makes your eye color, it tells you how, how tall you are, it tells you everything about yourself. Something inside you is actually making this shell that you experience life in. There's shells within shells within shells. Um, the planet is another shell that all of humanity lives in. And then there's another shell, the universal shell. But there's an epicenter. There's a source that's creating everything. That source is within each one of us individually and unitedly. And that's what we've got to sort of get on the right page. We all kind of sense that we are this oneness creating something. And right now we're all divided. We've been pushing everybody away. And yet, while we can't understand each other, we're supposed to pull ourselves together and do something to prevent all of these catastrophes that are about to happen. We're definitely affecting that sun. The sun isn't affecting us, although that is one of the polar shifts that we've got to make is we think that everything out there is happening to us when actually everything inside you is creating everything out there. Everything out there is a mirror image of what's inside you. So anybody that's smoking, you've got an addiction that's really, really good to, to see and understand. And one thing I was mentioning in one of my posts is that if you ever notice somebody that's homeless and has no money can actually keep up with one of the most expensive habits going. So your addictions can show you that you have a tunnel vision that can actually have the power to create the impossible. Because how can you have no money and still have the most expensive habit on the planet? And it destroys you. So while we, we justify all the ways we're killing ourselves, um, smoking will kill you know that but you're going to smoke anyways and you're going to think that well why should I care about myself when when everybody else is doing so much harm to me and it's like everybody else is doing harm to you because you ain't doing what you need to do for yourself we're all not doing if we all combined did what we're supposed to do then we wouldn't be hurting anybody so it's like it's got to start with you looking after yourself before you can expect anybody else to look after you. And I'm a smoker. It's my smoking addiction is telling me exactly what it is I need to do. It will guide you down the right path. For me, it, it's almost uh, uh, like you have a death wish. And I'm a positive person. I'm optimistic. Um, I'm not a depressed person. There's no way I want to die. But ultimately, if you got to be honest with yourself, if I'm doing something to kill me, I know that I got a death wish. So, and it's pretty much the same for everybody else. If, if just from the experience that I had, this like big, huge, freaking wake up call, this this all knowing, like nonlinear information, it would be to explain it is like to take a university course in every sciences get rid of all of the contradictions and receive all that information in one second, in, in a flash. And that's what I think will happen with everybody. And when it happened to me, it's like, okay, I know exactly how we can prevent all of this. Uh, one way or another, we're about to evolve. Now, From what I'm seeing, you know, right now we're at a point where, okay, I know an awful lot of shit, and I know exactly what would stop everything, how we can save our freaking planet, how we can save everybody so there's absolutely nobody going to die, but it's like, nobody wants to believe me. So, with the theory that everything's a reflection of me, nobody wants to hear me because, obviously, I'm not ready to listen to myself. So that's where it all has to start, is you got to work within yourself. I'm just sharing my experience. I started this whole thing. My smoking addiction said, start 
Well, actually, it was years ago I knew I was going to do videos. I knew I wanted to do a documentary of some kind. Didn't know what it was. I just knew in my future I'd be doing one. And uh, then when I started really analyzing the smoking addiction, there's no way I'm going to quit this. Um, what you resist persists. So trying to stop something that's inside you is like a, a denial. It, it, the smoking addiction it shows me that there's something negative still inside me and I'll know when I absolutely do not want another cigarette. And um, so what it is I've got to do inside me, it says get the hell out of the house because I'm spending too much time in there. I kept myself isolated because I'm trying to keep myself centered, really focus on my own reflection and, and strengthen up my own energy because I am affecting the rest of the world. It's like if I went and talked to, I'd love, love, love to, inter to interview some of these wealthy people just to get them to see what the hell they're doing because there's a massive, massive uh, cancer hospital out there that while these rich, rich, rich people are so friggin' greedy and uh, they're greedy off of slavery, um, they don't realize that they're actually killing themselves with the pesticides they use that are on their own property that they walk through and breathe through every single freaking day. They are destroying their own environment and killing themselves and killing their own kids. Um, they give them sports cars and then they get into accidents with all the ways they can kill themselves. So it's like, I'd really love to inter interview them, but they're actually destroying the planet so much that it would frustrate the hell out of me and I'd get angry and mostly because I wouldn't be doing what it is that I know I need to be doing. It's, I'd be not being able to um, ask the right questions so that they can figure it out for themselves. Instead of me teaching them, they got to see it for themselves. So it's more or less me asking good questions to them. And I don't think I'm right yet because I'd probably get real pissed off. And if I get pissed off, then I put that negative energy out there and then uh, I get really, really disappointed in myself because I haven't done a good enough job yet. And then I want to smoke. So my smoking addiction is guiding me perfectly.